Is it fair for me to blame my parents for my ugliness? I come from an unattractive family, and I in turn am unattractive. I hate them for this. To know that you're going to bring someone into this world who is going to suffer and be miserable all his life because of his ugliness and to still go ahead with that, in my opinion, is monstrous. Well, I disagree with that. I disagree that you should hate your parents. First of all, how could they have been certain that you were going to come out ugly, unattractive? There are, and there are many degrees and forms of being unattractive. I don't know that there is a, a gene or some combination that ensures uh, that you're going to become uh, be, uh, come out uh, that way. But let's suppose uh, you, you are born unattractive. A lot of unattractiveness can be corrected, for instance, by uh, plastic surgery, unless it's a result of some systemic uh, uh, disease, which is warping your face, and then you have a whole different issue. Now, the most important question here, though, is how important is the, the uh, appearance of your face to a a happy life. How important is that objectively? Now, for instance, we know that if someone uh, were, some parents are going to bear a child that uh, has a disease which will cripple him and kill him by the time he's 15, and they have genetic evidence of that, then I would say they should not bring that child uh, into uh, existence because they're bringing a child who cannot live into life. Uh, that child physically is doomed to, uh, to misery and destruction. But why are you doomed to misery if you are unattractive? I mean, unless you want to become uh, a, a lead, a romantic lead, you can still play, you know, Quasimodo and many other parts in, in the, the movies. You say you suffer and uh, are doomed to misery all your life uh, because of your unattractiveness. Well, are you Frankenstein? I, I, I doubt that. You must have heard the idea that if you have a certain kind of spirit, uh, a certain kind of soul, certain kind of values, certain way of being, certain personality, that will change your value to people, including the meaning of your face. To those who know you, the face will not be a glaring contradiction, but the expression of you. And as the people who don't know you, well then, uh, who cares? It's desirable to have a, a nice looking uh, face. But in my judgment, that is not uh, a, a physical flaw that should make you suffer and be miserable uh, all of your life. Not if you live a certain way and take whatever steps you can, uh, you know, to uh, improve your uh, appearance. Uh, uh, one last point here. I don't see the legitimacy of hating a person for giving you existence. They did not do anything to you because without them, there is no you. So if you can experience life, if you can live life, then you have to thank the givers, even if what they gave you or what nature gave you is a flawed version, as long as you still can live. Now, you know, people speculate if I didn't have uh, uh, X quality, uh, X physical quality, I wouldn't want to live. But you have to be pretty careful what you uh, choose. Uh, I don't think it's your face. By the way, I don't think it's your uh, sexual endowment. There are, or the size of it. Uh, I think there's a lot of uh, lesser things that still leave open a huge value uh, to life.